time for maths, everyone. I'm Mr. S. I'm Mr. A. And let's get cracking. So this week, you've been looking at addition, add, plus, the sum. We've been looking at how to put two numbers together to get a larger value. And you've been looking at using a formal written method of column addition and also using a mental strategy in your own mind. Well, today, we're going to move on to the inverse. What's the inverse of addition? Correct. It's subtraction. Take away. Minus. Less than. Uh, the, little, the little dash sign. That one. Yeah. So we're going to look today at having a number and then taking away a certain value from that number and finishing with our answer, which should be always smaller than what we started with. Today's lesson is going to be one of those level up lessons. So if you hear this noise, it means we're gonna level up. What it does mean is that you need to download the worksheet below straight away now, because we're working through it as we go along and we'll be telling you when to go on to the next level on that worksheet. So we've got four levels for you today. We'll walk you through three of them and then we're leaving you on your own for the fourth. It was a bit scary the last time we left them, but it's all right. They sent us photos of what they've done and they were all fine. Should we have a look at some of their work? Yes. Right now. So your English work from yesterday to have a look. First of all, we've got Bo from Liverpool. Thanks for joining us, Bo. Nice little setup with the leg going into the desk there. Working hard. Farah has been in again, editing and up-leveling our work. Well done, Farah. Hannah and Matlock. Two pages worth of adverb work. We love it, Hannah. Here's Lily, a new sender to us. Lily in Wensfield, working hard on her work. And Maisie from Liverpool has also been working hard on her adverbs as has her sister, Nancy, with her lovely learning lockdown journal with the pink fluffy sides. Here's Riley and Kent, working very hard. Here's his work for you, look at that. Fantastic writing from Riley. And Zara in Liverpool, also working really hard on her adverbs. Thank you, everybody. Okay, let's look at your maths then. This is from Aidan, who's been working really hard there at his desk, and this is the work that he's done. Well done, Aidan. We've got Arlo in Whittlesford. He's ripped up his paper, but that's okay. Bethany and Carter for that trusty whiteboard, working hard as always. There's Carter, got three pieces of paper in front of him there, working incredibly hard. Grace, who's done a page full of sums. There it is. Well done to you, Grace. Here's Katie, who said she wore herself out. There she is, looking a little bit stressed with bunny ears on with the maths. Zara, look at that. Huge amount of maths going on there. Well done, Zara. Elise, nice little setup at home there. She works hard on her maths. Vasia. Sent us this on Twitter, loads of work doing there. She's gone up the levels, and this is a lovely one. There's Sophia working hard in her house at the maths. Well done, as always, for taking part. Fantastic, thank you very much, guys. And keep that work coming in at learninglockdown at gmail.com or at learninglockdo1 on Twitter. They are the easiest ways for us to get pictures. But if you're sending videos, please only send it to our email because then it's much easier for whoever looks after these things to get them. There they are. So, are you ready for level one? Let's go. Right, we've got a nice simple subtraction sum here, and you can see what I've done already, is I've laid it out using the column method. It's exactly the same way that we'd lay out our addition, column addition, but we just changed the operation symbol. So, we've got 597, and we're taking away 232. I make sure my ones, tens, and hundreds are all lined up, and I put the operation symbol, subtraction, minus, right next to it here, and then draw a line underneath. And as with the addition, where do we start, Mr. S? We start in the ones column, and we go from there and work our way across, and you'll see why a little bit later on. So first of all, Mr. A, seven subtract two. Seven subtract two, well, I know my number bonds. Five, seven ones, take away two ones is five ones. Next, we have nine tens subtract three tens. Nine lots of 10, take away three lots of 10 is six lots of 10. And finally, 500 subtract 200s. I know five take away two, so therefore I know five lots of 100 take away two lots of 100 is three lots of 100. And it's as simple as that. My answer is 365, the same as days in a year. Right, that is all it is to level one. All you need to do is work from the ones through to the hundreds or possibly even the thousands on level one. And you don't need to do anything fancy apart from taking away. Off you go, it's time to Level up. So, welcome to level two. And on level two, this is our equation that we are trying to solve. We've got 4,629 subtract 471. Now, take a little look at that and see what you can spot. Can you spot it? Can you spot it? Can you? 
Mm. Do you? Mm. Oh, you think you're clever? Mm. I'm sure you have. Yes, we have a four digit number, subtract a three digit number. So, you've got to be very, very careful when this happens. Why is that, Mr. A? Well, because place value is a tricky little mistress, and you've got to make sure you obey her laws at all times. So, let's just have a look at how we've set it out here. We've taken our four digit number, because it comes first in our number sentence, and we've put it on top. And we're taking away our 471, but look at how I've lined it up. I haven't lined up, by accident, my 4000s with my 400s. Although that would be easy to do, I've made sure that because this number, 471, has no thousands, I leave that place value column blank. So I start lining up for my ones generally, and that helps me out. So I've got my nine ones and my one one, my two tens and my seven ten, and my six hundreds and my four hundreds. Nothing in the thousands column, because I need to make sure that everything's in the right place value column. Very good, Mr. A. Thank you. So, do you think you're a good counter? Not as good as this guy. <laughs> so, in the ones column, because that's where we're starting, we have nine ones, subtract one ones. Eight ones. Go. In the next column, we have two tens of track seven tens. Five tens. No. Oh. And this is something we see every day in class. All we the do time. These things because subtraction is what we call non commutative. Hmm, Mr. A, tell us about that. Well, non commutative. Let's think about addition for a second. If I do eight add one, I get nine. And I can do something called the commutative, where I swap around the eight add one and I switch it to say one add one. Eight. And the answer is still nine. So that's it's called commutative. Addition is commutative, but subtraction is not commutative. For example, let's take my digits eight and one again. I could do eight take away one, and I would get seven. But I can't just swap the eight and the one around this time and say one take away eight equals seven. Because if I've got one and I take away eight, I can't... I can't at the moment, I can't, that doesn't seem to work. I definitely won't be left with seven because I only started with no, definitely one. not seven. So when you're left with something like this, two subtract seven, you can't simply just say, oh, that must be five because, well, you know, seven subtract two is five and maybe it's the wrong way. No, it doesn't work like that. So we have to do something else. We have to do something called regrouping. And we've seen this one before when we do addition where we regroup by moving to the left. Let's say we had 11 lots of one. We know 11 lots of one has got one lot of 10 in it and a one. So we regroup that one lot of 10 into the tens column. Well here, we actually need to do some sort of borrowing because our two lots of 10 here isn't enough. We don't have enough tens to take away seven lots of 10. So he's going to come to the hundreds column. He goes one place, and this is very important for level three. He goes one place to the left, to the hundreds. He has to stay in the same number. He can't come down here and start talking to this number. He stays in the same number. And he goes to this hundred, who's got six lots of a hundred. Six lots of a hundred. And he says, look, please, please, please. I haven't got enough tens. Can I borrow, can I use one lot of your hundred? You've got six. Can I regroup just one of them and turn it into, well, how many tens are in this, Mr. S? Ten. There's ten tens and a hundred. So, they swap, they regroup one of those hundreds to 10 tens. There you go. Thank you. Definitely 10 there. And we've got the 10 lots of 100. So how many hundreds are we left with now though? If we've borrowed, if we've regrouped from this hundreds column, how many hundreds are we left with? Well, we're left with five. So we cross out our six and we recognize that we've got five lots of 100 now because we regrouped one of them but we've just been given 10 new tens so this two lots of 10 doesn't turn to three lots of 10 because we've been given 10 lots of 10 so we've now got the two lots of 10 here plus the 10 lots of 10 we've just been given and that becomes 12 lots of 10. so we write our little one there to show that we've now got 12 lots of 10 and now we should be able to do 12 lots of 10, take away 7 lots of 10, Mr. S. Well, I'll take away 2 first of all to get me back to 10 lots of 10. So it's 12 take away 2 is 10. And I've got 5 more to take away, which means I now have 5 lots of 10 left. Fantastic. Then we move on to our hundreds column. And we have to remember now we're dealing with the 5 lots of 100. Make sure you've crossed out that 6 lots of 100 because you've used up that lot of 100 
in that tens column. So you must remember to cross out and rewrite what you've got left. Five lots of 100 take away four lots of 100. One lot of 100. And the thousands column, we've already got four thousands and we're taking away nothing. So four thousands take away nothing. Still leaves us with? Four thousand. 4,158. So you have to do at least one level of regrouping here. That is level two. Off you go. Time to level up. <laughs> Welcome to level three. Now, on level three, it's going to get a little bit trickier, okay? But that's the whole point. That's why you're here. All right? It's level Just three and not level one. Just do it. Get on. Come on. Oh, we should probably teach them first. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So we've got 7,201. Subtract 3,104. 54. Now we've laid it out the same way we laid them out before, being careful with our place value columns, but you know that already. So let's get cracking on. Let's have a look at these columns. Can you spot which columns are already going to involve regrouping? Yes. Well done. We can clearly see that the ones is going to involve some regrouping because the large number here is below. And we can also see that the tens it's going to involve regrouping too because the large number is below. So we already know that there's going to be at least two columns that require regrouping. So let's get in there. Start with the ones. One lot of one. Bing! Take away four lots of... Can't do it. It's not possible. So we have to start borrowing or regrouping from our other columns. Now remember what we said last time. You can only move one space at a time. So this ones they go to the tens and they say tens tens have you got any tens you can lend me because I, re I really need to borrow some but wait there there's no one there there's nothing there no tens are in don't worry about now co come back mr a there is still a way to do this okay but we're gonna have to do a double step because there's nobody in the tens so we're gonna have to go a little bit further down the road to the next house knock on there and borrow some from the hundreds and this is how we do it so the ones can't go to the hundreds. They can only ever go one neighbor at a time. So it's the tens who goes to the hundreds and said, can I borrow some, please? So Mr. Tens goes to the hundreds and said, you've got two lots of a hundred. Can I regroup? Can I borrow one lot of them? And he's got two. So he says, sure, have one of my hundreds. Now let's pause. That means we've only got one left. So we cross out our two. And we say we've only got one lot of a hundred left. But we've regrouped, we've shared this other lot of 100. And from the last level two, we know that in one lot of 100, we've got how many lots of 10? 10. 10 lots of 10. So we pass that over. Now, the easiest way to do this is to turn this digit zero into a 10, the 10 lots of 10, by putting that little one just before it. So we can see now we've got 10 lots of 10. Boy, that we still need to be taking yeah, away our ones. Can't forget about Mr. Wands here. He's still waiting. So, so let's see if he can now go to his neighbor. The one now goes to the 10 and says, please, I really need to borrow a 10. Oh, you didn't have any before, but now you've got 10 lots of 10. Loads. So we cross out the 10 lots of 10. Wait, what's one less than 10? If he's given him, if he's regrouped one lot of 10, what have we got left? We've got nine lots of 10 left. And we've given one lot of 10. One lot of 10 to the ones. Now in 10, there's 10 ones. So we've got one one plus 10 ones is 11 ones. So we put another little digit one next to it. So now we've got 11 take away four. Now let's see what we can do. 11 take away four is seven. Into our tens, well, we've now got nine lots of 10. Nine take away five is? Four. Wow. Into our hundreds, one lot of 100 take away one lot of 100 would leave us with? Zero. Zero lots of 100. And into the thousands column, 7,000 take away 3,000 is? 4,000. That is level three. Off you go. Well, that was level three, and it's now time for level four. But as always, we leave you at this point. There's no way we're joining you because level one involved no regrouping. Level two involved one lot of regrouping. Level three meant regrouping, but into a column where there was nothing there. Now, level four could be anything. We don't know. But you'll need to use all those skills in a word that we used last week, amalgamation. An amalgamation of those skills to solve level four. So you're on your own. It's the boss level. As always, let us know how you got on at Learning Lock. Do one on Twitter or learninglockdown at gmail.com. See you Get later. Cracking.